So read the question along with the figure. A flywheel is mounted on a vertical shaft as shown in the figure. Okay. The uh, both ends of the shafts are a uh, shaft is fixed and its diameter is 50 mm. The flywheel has a mass of 500 kg and its radius of gyration is 0.5 meter. Find the natural frequency of torsional vibration if modulus of rigidity of the shaft material is 84 giga Newton per meter square. Okay, I think with the same figure you have done one more problem in the previous uh, transverse and longitudinal vibration section. The same diagram is here, but here we are going to calculate torsional vibrations. Okay. So let's down the given data. Diameter of the shaft is 50 millimeter. Mass of the flywheel is 500 kilogram. Radius of gyration of the flywheel is 0.5. And the modulus of rigidity C is 84 giga Newton per meter square, which is 84 into 10 power 9 Newton per meter square. Okay, let's move on. So we know that the polar moment of inertia of the shaft formula is pi by 32 d power 4. So 50 millimeter is 0 0.05 meter. Calculate the polar moment of inertia. Pi by 32 into pi not pi the whole power 4, which comes around. 0.6 into 10 power minus 6 meter power 4. Okay, so unit of polar moment of inertia is meter power 4. Don't forget it. So torsion, so torsion stiffness of the shaft for a length of L1. So we are going to separately calculate two different torsion stiffnesses here since the rotor is in the middle of the shaft. Okay, we are going to consider this as, let's look back at the diagram, we are going to consider this as two different cantilevers. Okay, one cantilever up to this with a disc. Okay. And another cantilever up to this with a disc. Clear? With the same mass and radius of variation. It is split into two problems. You calculate this torsional uh, stiffness and this torsional stiffness. Add them together and then calculate the uh, frequency. Then that will be correct way of doing the problem. Clear? What did you do when you are doing longitudinal vibration? You split this mass into two, added, found out how much of mass is giving tensile load on this shaft and how much is giving compressive load on this shaft. Similarly, I am going to split the same beam into two parts. Then calculate the torsional stiffness of this as Q1, this as Q2. Add them together to get the whole Q, then put it into 1 by 2 pi root of QI. You will get the answer of frequency. Okay. So I am going to split the shaft into two. So the initial length, the upper portion of the length is called L1, Cj by L1. So C is 84 into 10 power 9. Uh, L1 is 0 0.9 if you look in the figure, the upper length above the flywheel up to the uh, upper support of the shaft. Okay, so J equal to 0.6 into 10 power minus 6. Substitute all the values 84 into 10 power 9 is C. Okay, <coughs> C is 84 into 10 power 9. J is 0.6 into 10 power minus 6. This should be in power 10 power minus 6 divided by 0 0.9 is the length of the upper portion of the uh, portion of the shaft above the flywheel. Okay, so that gives my answer around 56 into 10 power 3 Newton meter is the torsional stiffness of the upper portion of the shaft. Similarly, lower portion of the shaft for length L2, you calculate it's the same uh, rigidity modulus, L2 is 0.6, J is also same because the diameter is same. Calculate, uh, same mistake here, this should be in the power. Okay, so now uh, C into J by length alone is different here, 0 0.6, so that comes gives me a uh, torsional thickness of 84 into 10 power 3 Newton, per, Newton meter. Okay, so with these two values of Q, I am going to move on. So total torsional stiffness equal to Q equal to Q1 plus Q2. Add the two. So we will get around 140 into 10 power 3 Newton meter. Now I can directly put it into the, uh, we know the mass moment of inertia of the flywheel Mk square. So mass of the flywheel is 500. Radius of gyration is 0.5. So square it. So it gives me 125 kilogram meter square is the inertia of the flywheel. Okay, so natural frequency of torsional vibration, 1 by 2 pi root of Q by A. So, 1 by 2 by root of Q is the total Q of the two parts of the shaft, 140 into 10 power 3, Q by I, 125. So, if you solve this, you will get 5.32 hertz, right. So, the uh, result, the natural frequency of torsional vibration, Fn equal to 5.32 hertz. Clear? So, this is taken from your uh, Gurmeet textbook, 24.1.